created by a kid and their parent, using Tailbot. Owen's Odyssey, The Quest to Mend the Shattered Skies A Special Bedtime Story for Owen In a world where the sky was a fractured mosaic of azure and cloud, there lived a young boy named Owen. He was no ordinary child, he was an engineer and an inventor at heart, though only six years in age. His world was one of floating islands and twisted landscapes, remnants of a once advanced society, a world that had been torn apart by a cataclysmic event that shattered the sky itself. Owen lived on the island of Windhaven, a place known for its brilliant engineers and soaring airships. It was here, amidst the craggy cliffs and the wind-sculpted towers, that Owen discovered an ancient relic, half-buried in the rubble of a long-forgotten city. The relic was a small, intricately carved orb, cool to the touch and humming with a strange energy. Owen felt a pull towards it, as if it were destined for his hands. When he brushed the dirt from its surface, the relic came to life, unfolding into a celestial compass with needles spinning wildly before pointing steadfastly to the east. The compass didn't point to a place on Windhaven but rather to a distant island floating in the fractured sky. Owen instinctively knew that this was the beginning of an important journey, one that would take him across the precarious skies to gather the fragments of the shattered celestial dome. His parents, loving and supportive, feared for his safety but saw the determination in his eyes. They had raised him to be curious, brave, and kind-hearted, and they knew that this was his destiny. With their blessing, Owen set to work on constructing his very own airship. He named his airship the Skylark, a vessel of wood and cloth, powered by the wind and a set of ingenious engines he had designed himself. The people of Windhaven came to see the young boy's creation, marveling at his skill and daring. On the day of departure, they cheered for Owen, waving as the Skylark lifted into the air, engines thrumming and sails billowing. The journey was fraught with danger. The skies were unpredictable, with gusts that could toss the skylark like a leaf in the wind. Floating islands passed by, each a world unto itself, with strange creatures and plants that Owen documented in his journal. He had to navigate through storms that roiled the heavens, lightning crackling dangerously close. On one of the islands, he met Arya, a girl with the uncanny ability to speak to birds. Tailbot, tailor-made tales for your child's dreams. She joined Owen on his quest, guiding him through the skies with her feathered friend's help. Together, they encountered relics similar to Owen's compass, each one revealing more about the history of their world and the event that had shattered the sky. The islands held challenges, puzzles left by the ancients, ruins that hid dangerous traps, and creatures that were not always friendly. Owen and Arya worked together, using their wits and bravery to overcome each obstacle. They found fragments of the celestial dome, piecing together the story of a civilization that had reached for the stars and paid a steep price for its ambition. The climax of their adventure came when they reached the center of the shattered sky, a place where the fragments floated in a dance of chaos. Here, a great beast guarded the final piece of the dome. It was a creature of legend, a dragon made of clouds and thunder, its eyes like twin stars. Owen confronted the dragon, using all he had learned on his journey. He showed the dragon the fragments they had collected, speaking of the balance of nature and the importance of restoration. Arya's birds sang a song of harmony and hope, and to their amazement, the dragon listened. With a roar that echoed across the skies, the dragon took flight, its body unraveling into a storm that swept the fragments into place. The celestial dome was whole once again and the sky began to heal, its crack sealing with a golden light. Owen and Arya returned to Windhaven as heroes. The sky was no longer a fractured canvas but a smooth expanse that held the promise of endless exploration. Owen's quest had taught him the importance of courage, teamwork, and the delicate balance of the world. At bedtime, Owen would look up at the restored sky, now full of stars and wonder. He had mended the heavens, but he knew this was just the beginning of his adventures. As he closed his eyes, he dreamed of the Skylark, ready to soar once more, with Arya and the birds at his side, into a world of endless possibilities. 
And so, dear Owen, as you drift off to sleep, remember the skies are vast and your dreams boundless. With a heart full of courage and a mind filled with ingenuity, there's no limit to what you can achieve. Good night, brave adventurer, and may the stars guide you to wondrous dreams. Created by a kid and their parent using Tailbot, click the link in the video description to create your own story.